What's going on guys, Pack Daddy here, bringing you back the puck drop, and I believe this is the 10th episode. It's a big episode, so we're gonna go big goals. We're gonna try and hit 100 likes on YouTube. Be there for it, support the squad, because we're gonna support you with some good luck on the puck board right now. We ended the last episode losing 4-2 to, to the 35th ranked person in the world on the worst internet. I mean, it couldn't have gone worse for us, but we did score two goals. With 700 points in the bank still, we have uh, these two pucks, and we're just getting ready for it. There's a great pack in the auction house right now. I think it's not or in the mark. I think it's like a thousand points or so. So we just need a little bit of luck here to hit that good pack. I can't remember how much it's for, but more points the better. That's gonna make it hard for us. That's plus 100. Not what we want to see, but with this other puck, we're gonna see if we can't bang home a decent pack and fly. Mm. Oh my gosh, a zero. That, that's rough, boys. I mean, we come to the board and only get 100 points. That's going to be a tough sell, but we're going to go back with 800 points and see if we can't do anything in the store right now. We'll be back at just one set. All right, guys. Welcome. Welcome back. K Cohen 42 uh, Thanks for the follow, bud. Save up for other packs. I know, man. I'm a... Go Leafs, go match him. What's going on, boys? Welcome. Welcome back. Henrik, dude, 111 viewers. Coming in with the huge host. We appreciate it, bud. I hope your stream was fantastic. And Henrik's following us right now. I appreciate it, bud. All right, but to continue on, you guys just missed the reward board, and we got packs to open right now. Well, since we are here, we do have 800 points to spend on packs, and I mean, I think it's just time to start things off. We gotta start with the pack. We're gonna start with the Stanley Cup Ultra Pack before we hop into this first game, boys. So we're gonna do the Ultra Pack. It's been a while since we got a decent pull out of one, but I think it's finally time to go ahead and hop into it. So we're gonna kick off with an ultra pack. And if it goes well, we'll open the second and spend the rest of our points. We're gonna look through this one individually, see if we can't get anything decent. Oh my goodness, the ultra pack sucks. The ultra pack, we get Henry. Appreciate it from the Henry stream. I mean, just going to show you right there. Good things happen. <laughs> just, he had to have get him in the pack. Justin Williams, anybody else? Ooh, an Icon Collectible. That is freaking nice right there. First time we've actually gotten a, an Icon Collectible. I think that's decent enough to where we need to go ahead and go and rip another Ultra Pack. That's sick. That's sick for me. First Icon Collectible I've ripped so far in a pack that's here. But that's not bad for the first pack. That's not bad for the first pack. All right, so Icon Collectible, that's a decent enough pull. We're going to have to go for the second Ultra Pack. And that's gonna be the last of our points that we can spend before we get to the next episode. So here we go. We're skipping the animation here all the way through. Sergei Bobrovsky. Yeah, I mean, kind of. Well, we're not using him. Andre Palat. That's a rough look. All right, second pack. Nowhere near as good as the first pack. All these other guys. We're gonna go ahead. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a goalie. Nobody's nobody's really gonna care about that. We're gonna quick sell these guys. Get to our rerolls, and then we're gonna go ahead and hop into the first game. All right, unopen packs. All right, we got two rerolls to go. We got two premiums, and that's about it. We're still looking for our first decent reroll of the series. And oh my gosh, Derek, step on. All right, still nothing. We get one more, and then we're going to have to suffer the luck of the servers after this one. Premium pack. And yeah, Brian Little. Okay. The packs just don't love us after that icon. They just don't love us after that icon. We're gonna get back to see where we are. Where we are, we've. Uh, we're gonna look at the team real quick. So, looking at the team ranking right now, we are 40, 13, and 0. And I think since we started the series, it's really like 34, like 4 and 0, or something like that. We haven't lost too many games, so we're tracking our way through the online seasons, and we are at 1, 1 and 0 after Division 5. After facing up against the 35 ranked overall player in the world at the end of the last episode, we lost to him 4 to 2. It's an unfortunate look. We're gonna get into this next game here and looking at the team, we're gonna show you the upgrades that we did get after that one. I mean, Luke Glendening, uh, Anthony Mantha, O'Reilly, Julian Sprunger, all these guys are new. Barzell's new. Pulled Steve Shutt and he's been absolutely dynamite for us. Eric Gabranson, big new pull for us and Dimitri Orloff got him out of a pack the last episode. So that's the team that we're gonna be kicking into this first game. Wish us luck. Ooh, we got the alternate for the Bolts. And we got our uh, McDonald's sponsored hot sauce packet jerseys now. So that's good. All right, he's got Timu Solani on the wing. We just can't catch a break. This is a Benajad starting center. Here we go. All right, decent win. Come on. Just let, it, let him challenge a bit. Oh, my goodness. And Solani's off and on the races. All right, decent poke. Come on. 
No, the freaking... Oh. Could have been bad. Could have been... Oh, we just keep giving back to him. All right, let's just get out of here. Just turn on the jets or something. Take it, Barzell. Take it. Can we get... Oh, we can get around him. This Barzell, I mean, he doesn't have the speed that you would think of from a 99 overall player. Just keep the pressure. Keep the pressure. Come on. Hit him before he scores. Oh, that should have been a goal. He went far down on me. All right, good pressure. The boys are tired. They need a break. All right, Sprunger's walking through people, though. Gets a stick on us at the last second. Come on, guys. Find the net. Send it back to shut. Find him on the back door. There it is. Julian Sprunger gets in on the back door. Finally. Just had to wait him out. Just had to pace him out. I feel like this guy's team is, like, so much better than ours, but I mean, we finally got it in there. Yovlin, Patriot Streams, RNGFN1994. Thanks for the follows, boys. Welcome to the stream. All right, not bad. Burke in the... I don't even know who this Burke is. All right, let's get a second goal here quick. Can still max out at five rewards, even though we're in Division 5. We still got that base burns out there. That's a card we need to replace the stream. There it is. One more. You, Mantha, are you kidding me, dude? He was still, like, looking into the corner on the other side of the net, and you completely missed it. You know, from getting four, like, four goals in your first game, you have, like, really gone downhill quick. All right, at least Anderson's still there to help us out. We're going to get a line shift in here. Come on. All right, Carlson. Send up to McKinnon. This is base McKinnon. I mean, we need to replace these guys eventually because, oh, my goodness, they're just too slow and too weak on the puck. Come on, find him over there. And, dude, look at this. The base guys are still getting it done. And that McKinnon is just making it look easy right now. All right, finding our ways to score on these teams. We got the base McKinnon and the Claude Giroux. Let's go. All right, here we go. Let's get another one. Just make this like a, a first period for the ages. Get a little toe at. Oh, I tried to feed it off to Crosby. He was going to put that in. One more for the one tee. Oh, McDavid, what a white. I mean, this guy's making it too easy on me. Let's not get a rage quit, though. Let's get another game in here. McDavid was trying to bang that one home. This is getting out of hand quick. Three zip. Can we hit max rewards in the first period? That would be nice. That would be super nice. I want to see this guy's team, though, at the end of the break. We're just trying to check him huge now. Just don't let him shoot because his team, like, is still phenomenal. Dude, that's goalie interference. He absolutely cup-checked himself into my goalie's face. How's he supposed to stop a shot when that happens? I skipped the animation. I didn't even get to see what his team was. That's stupid. I bet you it's fantastic, though. Melindy, Kirk, like, these dudes I've never heard of before. Just put the body on him. No, oh, no, 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 no. Anderson, man, he's scaring me in net. He's scaring me in net. All right, we got to switch up our uh, our breakout because no room to breathe over here. Oh, he shot it on his own net. Almost. Come on, Gabranson. Get some space. Back door. Dude, Glenn Denning's putting it in. I mean, right place at the right time. That's that hockey smarts for you with that Glenn Denning right there. Waiting on the back door to tap it in. And we're going up 4-1. to one. The team at 88s. The line of 88s is getting it done. One more goal. Max rewards. And that's all we need, boys. Sprunger, come on. Put it 5. Oh, no. I knew that was coming. I saw it. It was like Solani. Luckily, it's the end of the period. This guy's gassed. And he's getting off sides. Ovi finds some lanes. Over to Orloff. Gosh, that was the slowest shot. Slow shot I've ever seen. We're going to try and finish this period out. Only being down, or only uh, getting to let him score one. Any more than that, come on. There's pressure by him. Ovi, stick on the ice, man. Orloff's just letting him walk in there. Puts the body on him. All right, Anderson, we're just going to freeze that one. And 1.8 seconds left. Could have stopped it. I'm going to fight me out here. That ain't happening. All right, end of the first period. Now that is a hot start if I've ever seen one. Coming up against a guy who I assume is having a fantastic roster built around him. Seven to three or your shots. We're going to look at his team real quick. 
and I'm assuming they're fan. Oh, okay, only an 87 Bjorkstrand. All right, this this guy is uh, faking me out. 97 Latang is pretty nice. Frederick Mondi, and that guy was a beast. Broke the glass. So only an 88 Solani. So he's got some decent players. Patre, 93, a decent team. I gotta see who his goalie is real quick. All right, Sean Burke. All right, it's an old school. One time when I was back in Tampa, I watched Freddie Modine wind up a clapper, went over the net, and it broke the glass. They had to stop the game and replace that panel. The craziest thing I've ever seen. And then after that, I was like, I want to be a goalie. <laughs> but that's not true at all. Back door. Oh my gosh, O'Reilly hit the net. Sprunger, can we find him in front? O'Reilly's like leading into that one. Just didn't work. We got the big boys back here on defense. That making me feel a lot better about his challenges. Oh, until I just turn it over. It's a four on one. Luckily, he passed it into the corner. Just big boys just banging it around out there. Sprunger. Oh, just a block at the last second. Down to the D. One T. Oh, stick on the pass. All right. We got to recoup. We got to recoup around here. Dude, spamming is what we do in this chat. If you're not spamming the stammies, you're doing the wrong thing. Tap it in there, Barzell. Come on. Big, oh my gosh, it went behind his goalie, but not into the net. That was so close, so close. They're playing all right, and I gotta say, it's because of these hot sauce packet McDonald's jerseys that we got. I love the push and nobody coming to help the center out. That's classic right there. Get in front of this Burns. Nice poke. That was a solid poke. And he gives it right back to him. Shoots it wider than that. Lucked out there. I feel like these guys can bury it easy. I want to see Orloff blasting through there. Just throw it on that. Anything can happen with Sean Burke in that. He can just throw it right back to me. Oh my gosh. McKinnon is laid out. Oh, it's in front. That almost went in. Come on. What are we doing here? Sod into the corner. That's a, that was an angle if I've ever seen it. Oh, oh, that one almost went in the net. Oh, talk about saving the last second. And that one's getting in there. That is five to one. Max rewards for you. McKinnon banged in there. Like lowest overall we probably have on the team. And he's still finding ways to get in the back of the net. Let's go, McKinnon. Let's go, McDavid. Base McDavid. He's he's still on it. Look at this dude. I mean, he's, he's got no chill in him. All right. Can't pass it through the net. Life lesson right there. Dude, OV keeping it in the net. He ain't done with this. The team's got resiliency right now. What a freaking wind-up. Oh, my gosh. Four-goal deficit or four-goal advantage isn't enough for OV. He's just trying to blast through the goalie's blocker. All right, at least we're to the point where he's just, like, dumping it out. Doesn't want to take it up himself. I guess that's a testament to our uh, offense being halfway decent right now. Chara, I mean... <laughs> what are you kidding me that's not gonna go how is that a thing are they telling me hi sticking on glenn denning i think that's legal man i think that's legal you're gonna have to go with it oh my gosh we got hosed i mean we're already at max rewards though so it's it's not a bad thing so it's not like it matters in the end it's just doing it to our ego carlson's getting free Walk it. Oh, I tried to get to the one timer on the left side there. Catch him, Mantha. Catch him. Pressure from behind. All right, he, he whiffed on that. That should have been a one time goal easy for him. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. If he would have taken off there, big check. Oh my gosh. Still on the ice. Still thinking about his life choices. Guys are too far behind the net. Backhand? Yeah, Obi's backhand. There's backdoor. Oh, it's just off of his skate the last second. He's one minute left with Solani. I think we found out that was the 88 Solani, though, so it's not like he could outrun every player on my team. On net. Get pucks deep. Get pucks on the net. Yikes. Bad pass there. All right, this period's winding down. Let's finish this rush here. And flick it in net. All right, end of the second period. The boys are absolutely buzzing. We said it after the first period, but, I mean, they came out to play right now. Shots are 16-3. I mean, I mean, this game's over at this point. The game's over at this point. So that's kind of what guide the, guide the raid is. Nobody's done it yet. And we had a lot of uh, complaints about people. Oh, there it is. Steve, shut. Shutting the door on our 
opponent right now. That's fantastic. Oh my gosh. He, Steve Shot is like probably one of the most under... Alright. And that's the rage quit. Boys, that is it, man. That's gonna do it for the first game and holy crap, what a doozy right there. I mean, you know, rage quits are obviously five five packs and five rewards on the board, but once you already have six goals, you don't need it anymore. All right, so end of the game, we're gonna get a nice little coin bonus, 2-1-0 in Division 5, working our way to that D1 title. Looking at the stats at the end of the game, 17-3 are your final shots. Time on tack was halfway decent, but that is where we're gonna end this episode of the Puck Drop. If you guys could, smash that like, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you later. This is Pack Daddy. I'm out.